Alright everybody, welcome back to another episode of designing my own dinosaur theme park in Lego. So, today is episode 26 and I'm going to be doing some work on the underside of the Gallimimus area. That's why it's not here right now because I've actually started to work on it. And uh, yeah, we're going to kind of jump into it. I haven't really gotten too many names for the raptors yet, so I won't be adding any names. Please comment some names. Uh, I did see two names from Tuscan, but I'm not going to be using them because I don't really want to use those names. Uh, thank you for suggesting them, but I'm just not going to pick them. Um, but yeah, just keep commenting names. Um, comment in general because <laughs> uh, I really like getting feedback from you guys. But yeah, anyways, we're going to move on to my progress that I've been doing in a second. But I just wanted to show that I have been building some more minifigures. Just kind of like in my spare time, I've been making some people. So just to kind of show that I've been kind of continuing that if anybody's interested, but now we're gonna move on to the underside of the Gallimimus area. Okay, so this is what the underside is looking like. As you can see, I haven't done a ton of stuff on this, but I've done a little bit of work. So I'm gonna be going through, showing off what I've done, showing off the techniques that I've used and stuff like that. So first things first is over here. First thing I did is I put these little things down, uh, these pieces right here, just to kind of show me where lights are going to go. Uh, so I was talking about making fake lights, so that's exactly what those are going to be eventually. I just have to kind of come up with a technique for that, which I haven't done yet, but at some point I will. And then the next thing I decided to do is add these little pipes. So basically I took the spring-loaded missile shooter things, and then they have a hole in them, so I just connected a pipe in between them, and I kind of did that over... Um, just kind of repeated that and then this thing is kind of on top I don't really know what this is supposed to be. It was just uh, one of these kind of jumper plate things round jumper plates Whoops, so this is just a round jumper plate with a uh, Dish connected to the bottom of it nothing fancy or anything But I just decided to kind of put these things underneath here just to add a little bit of variety And I put this in the wrong spot and then of course underneath it I have dark bluish gray inverted tile and I'm going to need a crap ton of these things. I'm actually, I'm going to place an order. I found like 300 or whatever from a seller on uh, Bricklink from Germany, and it's actually pretty cheap. It's cheaper than Pick a Brick or um, Bricks and Pieces. It's actually not even on Pick a Brick. It's only on Bricks and Pieces, which is weird, but oh well. But I found it there. I'm probably going to order that today. Um, and then I will hopefully get those at some point and be building with that. Probably not this week, but next week. Um, but yeah, I'm going to need a ton of these. I'm going to get some in light bluish gray as well. Um, just to kind of add some variety, I'm going to be putting dark bluish gray here and then on the other side I'm doing the exact same thing, dark bluish gray under here as well and then probably in between like here and here I'm probably going to be doing light bluish gray and a mix of dark bluish gray or something like that. Um, and then here I decided to put these rail plates down here because I think it actually looks pretty cool. So I have them all here and it's going to be the same on that side and on this side as well so I'm going to need a lot more of those but I actually had a decent amount of these from Taco Donna so I used all of them pretty much except for a couple and then of course I still have to extend this so um, I still have to kind of expand everything um, even more so I'm going to need a lot of stuff but that's okay. Um, then I started this little like pipe thing over here. This is one of these like macaroni things with uh, this little thing attached to it. I don't know what that's called but I'm basically just going to kind of expand it forward using more of those pieces. Uh, just kind of like this kind of stuff. It's a, kind of a common piping technique that you see in a lot of Star Wars mocks. And then I decided to make a pipe like this. So basically, I have a lightsaber piece. It's attached to a bracket so that it sits there. And then I have a, a long bar piece with these little like round things attached to it. So these are attached to the lightsaber hilt. And then it keeps this one in place that isn't actually attached to anything. It's just kind of like you know, on the uh, the bar piece. So this moves a little bit, but not that much. These kind of keep it in place, which is nice. And then I just kind of made some other little things <laughs> around. That's kind of the best way to describe it. So I made this little thing. I don't know what this would be, like a big fan or something. Um, and then I have this little like antenna thing. I wanted to get another of this piece to have it go the other way, but I just couldn't find one in my collection. So I uh, might have to order it. Basically it's this piece. It's like a cone piece or something. I don't know exactly what it is, but I wanted to get a second one. I just didn't have one, so that's okay. Whoops, and then this, this is the piece that's connecting the two of them. So there'd be one going this way and then one going the other way. And then I have these things. I actually made this a while ago for something else. I was just testing things out and uh, it works pretty well. So I have this like pick piece connecting these three dishes together. 
and then um, it really doesn't need to be there to connect the dishes. They all stack on top of each other. But the reason it's really there is to connect it to this, which is an upside down uh, round jumper plate. And then it just kind of sits in there pretty easily. Um, and that's kind of it. That's kind of all the things that I've been doing for this. I'm going to have to order a lot more parts and just kind of be building more things. And I'll be doing that throughout uh, the weeks really because it's gonna take a long time to get this thing built But it's gonna look cool. It's gonna be worth it It's gonna look really really good once I have this done or else it would just look like this <laughs> You know without all this stuff and it looked really weird and not very good So I decided to change that and I think it looks Pretty cool already and it's gonna look amazing when it's done at least I think so so that's that now on to other stuff. I don't know exactly what I'm going to be working on next, but I will probably be working on the coral because I've been needing to do that for a long time and I want to keep doing that. I want to try and finish that as much as I can either this week or uh, this month really is kind of the goal. Okay, everybody. I've worked a little bit on the coral. Oh man, look at that. That looks so cool. Oh my gosh. So this is a just one section that I worked on. I actually worked on a lot more than this, but this is probably the best section that I've done. So I wanted to show this off first. And this looks so cool. So you can see we have the dolphin jumping out of the water, which I think is gonna look really cool, especially, fingers crossed, we get real water in this thing. It's gonna look amazing, especially with that thing jumping out of it. So it's gonna look super cool. But yeah, this uh, I just wanna show this angle with the minifigures looking at everything. Like, I think that's really cool. So over here, I didn't really change anything. I did add this little thing, it's like a stack of backpacks. Not actually, not backpacks, little like uh, flower pot holders or whatever. So that looks kind of cool. Um, but I didn't really change anything over here. The main section obviously is this. So what I decided to do is I added a kind of mound of dark tan using dark tan wedge plates. And that's a trick that I learned from Takodana. So <laughs> shout out to that thing. Um, but yeah, I was looking at a bunch of pictures of coral and I realized that the coral really sits on a bunch of like mounds and rocks and things. That's what I decided to include, especially here. I figured having a big mound over here would look really good um, with some sharks and stuff around here. But yeah, I just did a bunch of different pieces. There's a lot of circular coral, at least the things I was looking at, a lot of like, I don't know, just kind of circle things. So I decided to make a bunch of dishes. So I have like these things everywhere. Um, and I think it looks pretty good. I think it works pretty well. This is a bit of a better top-down view This is probably the view that you'll most likely be looking at this mock through um, There'll be different ways to see this obviously, but looking at it top-down is probably the way I'm gonna look at it the most <laughs> So I did the technique I started with at the very beginning of this series I think in like episode 4 is what I was looking at, but um, I have the skeleton horse on the bottom and then I have just kind of different things around it. I didn't hide it as well as I could have probably. I probably could have done a better job but I think it's okay. You can't really tell that it's a horse. I mean you sort of can but not really. And so the reason for doing that is because I want this to be glow in the dark so that if I when I when I turn the lights off this is going to glow from the bottom. It's going to look really cool and I have a bunch of little like uh, glow in the dark studs everywhere like this right here. That's that's a glow in the dark stud. Um, so they'll be throughout the mock and I'm going to be getting different glow-in-the-dark pieces eventually, but just not yet But uh, this is what I have so far um, Like those are all of the glow-in-the-dark pieces I have so far, so I've used them, but uh, I will be getting more later um, But yeah, that's what this is looking like now I'm gonna show off some of the other stuff I did in the other sections I kind of just wanted to go section by section just to really show you guys exactly what I've been doing I haven't finished everything and I probably like, I'm definitely not going to be able to finish all of the coral today, but probably next week I'll be able to do some more of it. Okay, so this is the other section that I worked on, and it looks really cool. I love this little family of manta rays that I put in here. I think it looks pretty cool. That's exactly what they look like in the wild. They all kind of, like, jumble together like that. And I don't know why, but they just kind of stick together like that. If anyone knows why, let me know in the comments. <laughs> I doubt anyone knows, but yeah. Um... I got a bunch of these little rocks. I made this nice little snot rock uh, in dark tan. And then I made another little mound of wedge plates and stuff. I did another one over here and another snot rock. That one's hard to see, but I'll give a couple different angles of this. And then uh, we got a couple sharks chilling. We got a dolphin up here. Um, I added these little like, almost like seaweed, I guess, things going around. 
uh, which I think look kind of cool. Just a bunch of those plant pieces all kind of put together. If you turn it upside down, it's what people usually do for pine trees, but I have it the other way, so it looks like seaweed. <laughs> we got a bunch of these little dishes everywhere, as you can see in this section right here. Uh, this thing is not actually attached, so I need to change that. <laughs> uh, because if I do have water, it might actually move, so... Yeah, I'll have to somehow fasten that. I don't really know how to. That's why it's just kind of sitting there. But yeah, it might not actually move because it's it's pretty it's put in there pretty well. And I don't think the uh, the water would be enough to raise it to the top. But I don't know. Um, this stuff I had before, I actually moved some pieces over to to here. I'll probably get rid of these and move them somewhere else as well. Um, I like this little thing. <laughs> it's a little like. Uh, it's not sand blue. Is that sand? No, it's not sand blue. It's just like a some sort of light blue color over there, which I think looks cool. But here's a, a different angle of things. It's a little hard to see, but uh, it's also hard to just kind of show this off just for uh, where everything is. There's a different angle of the rocks and stuff over here, different mounds. Um, I might actually pull these out maybe next week because I'll be working on these more, so I'll have to pull them out anyways. But... I'll probably pull these out so I can give you guys a better look at uh, all the different sides and whatever. But yeah, this is what it's looking like for now. And that's probably where we're going to leave this because I'm going to do more work, but I want to do it uh, next week. I want to do more work next week. And I got some BrickLink orders in, so I'll be able to do some more stuff as well in different areas. Um, but yeah, that's going to be it for this week. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.